long. I swear, if we get to this Texas border and there's not some gunslinging guy just like unholster and, and reholster and his pistol doing the little flip whirl things, turn around, I'm going back. That's like, that should be his full time job, just on the other side of the Texas border, just like gunslinging. Boys, we made it. We're in the poverty section over here, but like not too far in the poverty section because that's the sponsor section like right there. We just got here really early. So the gates weren't supposed to open until 12. We heard 1030 came in. It looks so good in the sun, doesn't it? I'm just uploading. I'm having a small issue with the Holly. Today is just like tech in and stuff, but I'm having a small issue with the Holly where it's not commanding my CAN bus module to turn my fans and stuff on. So I'm gonna reinstall the Holly firmware, see if we, what we can do about that. Uh, we got the Trank here, like I said, 2K, 2K cash. Like I said, if anybody wants to nab that up, 2K cash, bring it. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I can part with it. Um, and then Drummond is right next to me. He's got his Cobra. Stock bottom end LT in this one, and then mine's like just a regular LS junk. So you're probably gonna see a little bit of my car and Dennis's car. We drove down together 3,700 kilometers down. That's like 24 miles total, probably something like that. Well, look at it. I'm so fucking excited. Bleep that out, Kyle. Oh, uh, yeah. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Rat Race, but that's basically what the rest of our friends did. So four or five of them left from basically Alberta to fly here to come see the event with us. They all got different flights. They all ended up at different places. Some flights got canceled. Tokyo ended up in Vegas for like seven hours and Joe missed his flight because he was supposed to get on a flight with Gina afterwards and he ended up in LA for like seven hours and the boys are just getting in now. So they'll be at the track after. Gina's coming too, biggest supporter. I'm gonna have a, we're gonna have a flipping good time. See, I didn't curse there. Look at this <laughs> off right here. How was your trip in Vegas? Seven hour layover. It was shit. <laughs> there was no midgets. I can't believe But I won money. You did. I see, I see you're up. You what did. up, Gina? Hi. I missed you. I miss you too. Mom, can you put my bracelet on? <laughs> yeah. Marge, can I have another sandwich? Yeah, not too okay. tight. Oh, it's because of this. Yeah, that But loop. not loose like this one. Why do you have it? It's falling off. Oh, he woke up. I'm not asleep. You were. I'm tired. <laughs> Stop lying to me. You were well, sleeping. Asleep. You were so awake with your eyes open, sure. Your yeah. eyes closed. It looks so good in the light. Yeah! 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 <laughs> you know what's here, right? Right there, Gina was there. Oh damn, Summit Racing. We don't have anything half as cool as this in Canada, so. We got an Amazon. We got Amazon warehouses, yep. But, oh my, throwing it back. It's gonna be demonetized. What? Tokyo, throwing it back. But we get to go check this thing out, so there's no racing today, it was only tech. We'll be back for racing tomorrow, but while we're here, might as well check out Summit Racing. V8? <laughs> the light. Kid in a candy store already. What? There's kid in a candy store. Yeah, look at it. Oh, shinies. Mm -hmm. Motors. Hi, Joe. Hi. Hi. You sound like a parrot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nicholas. I like that. I feel like Summit Racing being this close to the racetrack, it's like 40 minutes away, is the reason that I didn't bring a whole wad full of parts, like bring the whole catalog with me, because I knew Summit Racing was here, and if I break something, it's likely that they'll have some sort of LS replacement for me. Like they even got torque converters, man. I broke out my Alien Trash Kitty sweater. It's not gay, it's a homie, right? And... She. What a burger! This is your first try. This is my first try. Yeah. What are you gonna get? A burger. How many? A burger. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> it's my cinnamon roll. I got what? <laughs> you got what? Way too much food. I know you did. Okay, flat. Except Every for my cinnamon bun. You know I'm what else saving it for my bake session later. The <laughs> cookie, the cookie that I had oh, for later that you here. ate. You. <laughs> I'll sit in the back here. That cinnamon bomb was pretty deadly. I, Tokyo just had a cookie sitting beside him. I, I stole it and I ate it. And after you're done with the dishes, put on your best dress because you're going to wash my car. I'm taking you to a restaurant called Shenanigans. Are you 
Look at this. I got two people washing my car right now. This is the cleanest my car has ever been. It's not just the cleanest, it's just not shitty anymore. It is not oh, we shitty. It's Goku. Nick's like, I'm gonna just get out and leave the door open. Nick doesn't <laughs> around. I'm learning how to pack a shoe. Sort of. He's not telling me anything, but I'm observing. This is the first time I've ever seen him pack a shoe. I know. Without, well, no, I've seen him pack it a ton, but without his phone open for YouTube. Because <laughs> normally that's what we do. Oh, to be like, wait, I have to My shoot actually deployed automatically. So I had it set for about 170. Because <laughs> I so? went to throw it and it was already gone. How uh, was it? So we went 864 on the first run. Uh, in, in the in car video, you might be able to see me grab the scramble button halfway through because the Viper was starting to come around me and I was like, maybe if I press this, I'll go faster. What button? What is it? So this button is actually hooked up to boost scramble. So if I press it, I get an extra five pounds of boost. So it was worth it? So I grabbed it like at the eight mile. <laughs> And you should have grabbed it in the I should have grabbed, I should just grab the, like, get more in the tune. But okay, so how are you feeling? You're pretty happy? I'm pretty happy. I know we don't, have, eight? we don't have a ton of boost in it. It went 5, 6 to the 8. One mile an hour. At 127. So yeah, turn it up. Yeah. Because remember Miles of Mayhem, we did 5.33 like almost every day. Yes. At 160, or 136 miles an hour. So what is this now? At 127. So we got oh, yeah, way more power to put into it. But we want 163 out the quarter, which is decent, which means my scramble did do something. You've also got a timing retard off the brake now too, right? Yeah. Because so Trevor put that in. I should take that off. Take it off, because you never needed it before. What's yeah. it, one, what's it 60, one two? One three one, so it's kind of slow there too. That's so I can add more everywhere, I think. Yeah. It, it, it was fine, but like, I got the jitters out, first runs out of the way. It felt good? It felt good. It, it felt a little lazy and I was like, is there something wrong? But it, it could just be like no boost in it. Well, and I, and I, I like, think I flew um, off an airline somewhere. What do you mean? I heard it on the way back. It's off. Okay. But listen, see if it's... Yeah, big time. I, wow, next time, park in the so you can pull off by natural. True. Uh, I blew an airline somewhere. Well, you don't need that. The shifter worked though, so I'm gonna check that too. This line was uh, by the exhaust somewhere, and it just 
melted a hole in this. So anything that was blue line on my car, this is cheaper line, and this was all connected to the dome side. So even if this failed, the uh, the wastegates will still open because this only closes them. So we replaced it with some DOT line that we had. This stuff and uh, should be good to go for pass two now. Hooray! Do you want some lemonade? No. You want cucumber? No. <laughs> no. Do you want some refined Gatorade? What? I got water. Okay. Um, should I wear the same tracksuit every pass or a new tracksuit every pass? Is that what you're doing? You're just tracksuiting it up? What should I do? Oh, tracksuit every time you're on the line. <laughs> but should I do same one each day? Like different different day, different suit? Or different suit every pass? Just keep rotating your suits. Rotate your suits. Okay. Uh, I think people will be like, wait, didn't that guy just have a different suit on? <laughs> yeah, I think because then people will know that I'm not serious. Yeah. Because right now there are people that think that there's a fat man in a fucking rip-off Gucci suit being deadly. Yeah, that's exactly what they're thinking. slow even though that's almost one of my fastest quarter mile passes 816 yeah but it just felt like and then the burnout didn't go well because they put you through the water box too far in advance so I'm gonna stop you in the water box next time and then you can pull forward and do your burnout because even Drummond is having like it's not spinning well, like it's you're the one who stopped me I was watching you I stopped you just outside the water box but you sat for so long that you had nothing left in your tires uh oh so I'm going to stop you in the water box next time and then just roll ahead a foot, yeah. line lock and rug it. I just look deadly because I'm going to wear a tracksuit, different tracksuit every time that we go up. And then the goal is that on the last day when we're going for the podium, Nick's going to wear a tracksuit too. <laughs> Why not? So that oh, bump was pretty aggressively cracking the tires. Yeah. Maybe that's because it was on dirt. I'm hoping that's enough that I don't bump too far this time, that's all. What was your oil pressure through all that then, Kyle? Oh, you gotta let me look at it. Okay. Another filter? Well, whose car was that? Across the, tree, across the road. Yeah, shout out to the guys with the Corvette who know Tony Lee, because everybody with a Corvette knows everybody. But uh, <laughs> we went to O'Reilly's and they didn't have a filter cutter, so they lent us one of those guys over there. Nice muffler. Thanks, it's Quack. my bumper on right now. Can we borrow Dennis's trim ring since his motor... <laughs> his is too big. <laughs> is this a Miles of Mayhem filter? Yeah. Oh. 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 A lot of shit in that, actually. Good thing you oh, Quack. Is there ever shit in that? That's a lot. Oh, wow. Oh. That is a lot on that. Holy bejesus. Okay, let me get this. You can see copper flakes. 
Sad, big sad. Look at those chunkies in there. Yeah. We have also seen some very impressive performances. Two stuff. Okay, so. Okay. So let's pull, let's pull the oil. Yeah, that'd be the next Let's step. put fresh oil in it and check the oil. The oil's brand new. Like, yeah, I know, but you just got a ton out of a filter. So rather than doing something dumb... I don't have enough oil to do a whole oil change. We can go get but the oil. oil pressure now? It's oil pressure is mint right now. Yeah. That oil so, filter was plugged So that oil filter's plugged, yeah. which caused issues. Which right. could have put more well, material so, in the oil. So this is, this is the scenario. Here's we're getting oil, oil tomorrow. We're, we're getting oil and doing an oil change. Yes. Yeah, you make one pass it. tonight though. Yeah. We have to do it because we were bypassing the oil. Yeah. And then we checked the, we checked the new filter. Yeah. We bought two. Yeah. Did we oh, check yeah, the new filter? Because of the oil pressure. Yeah. That's right. We were bypassing the oil filter. Yeah. So oil pressure was low. Um, Kyle wasn't happy with it. So we went to O'Reilly's and uh, got a couple of new filters for the car. Pulled the filter, cut it, whole bunch of material. Not good. Changed filter, uh, back up into 60 PSI, so like 30 PSI higher than it was before. But now the concern is with that low of oil pressure bypassing the filter, maybe there's some material in the oil in the motor. So Kyle's jacking the car up right now. Uh, we got to get two liters of oil because he's only got enough because we've already put a liter in trying to get it back up. Um, we're going to change the oil and then see how it goes, but uh, pressure's up. We just want to change the oil so we can investigate. Okay, coming down this side. We got the, the Pennsylvania grade. I hope, I, I really hope that the Pennsylvania grade oil is good in Texas. They didn't have any Texas grade. No Texas grade? Just the Pennsylvania grade. Shit. Let's do a start now, fresh oil. Yeah. Okay, fresh oil, fresh filter. No one serves? Hey. America! America! 50 pounds at idle. It was 30. Watch this. It's just under the car, it shot up somehow. What's going on? Oh, you know, just here at Texas 2K. Texas How 2K. far did you travel from Manitoba, right? Winnipeg, Manitoba, about 20 hours on the road, but the nice part is we're out of snow, right? So it's much like you guys, probably all the snow, right? But now we're doing like full coverage while you're here? Yeah, we're gonna try to do daily uploads while we can, you know, see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, you know, we're here to see, obviously, boost the lifestyle, put down hopefully a seven second pass, right? So if you want any good, nice, clean footage of racing of all the cars, that track channel on YouTube, go check them out. That's Gary, right there, that I, track channel. That track channel, thanks guys. Yeah. sincerely thought that I just blew through the transmission and my day was over and then I was like after the run I was like okay do my normal checks turn the CO2 bottle off and I went to go turn it off and it was already off so and right before I went to race I was like shit Tokyo go over open that bottle because I know it was closed I didn't open it and uh I freaked up he's like no pressure bottle pressure's good Frick. <laughs> it's okay. Like, make sure he stays in the water box. He's like, 
We got a 2,000 horsepower car that wouldn't spin the <laughs> tires. It's probably glued right there too. So, so that'll be. Oh my God! Look at my hair. It looks like a peacock. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of day one and two. Um, we're kind of getting the car. This is the third pass on the new setup, new air shifter, new everything, and uh, we're just getting it sorted. So tomorrow, if we come out, we'll try and go for our seven. If not, it is what it is. Peace easy, get that beat.